Hi folks, Bill Steele here with 3D Chameleon and I thought I would introduce a new little toy we've been working on for you uh, to help you set up your slicers. Uh, so what I've built is the G-Code Generator, uh, currently in beta, uh, but feel free to uh, test it out and tell me what you think. Uh, right now we're only working with Prusa Slicer and uh, Simplify 3D, but uh, soon we'll have Cura. It's a little more complex with Cura. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is uh, let me just walk through, show you how this thing works, and um, you know, let you start testing it. So uh, to start off with, uh, when you are setting up your 3D Chameleon, there are two features that you need to know, and that is a where the button is located, which axis it is, and what how many millimeters from the homing position, and b how long the distance is between your extruder and your hot end. Um, so you'll basically stick a piece of filament in your printer and measure the distance from the very tip of the nozzle to the gears in your extruder. Um, and basically the way I typically will measure it is I'll load the filament all the way in, extrude a few millimeters, and then retract the filament all the way back out. And you can usually see on your filament the teeth grabbing a hold of it, and you can actually measure from that point to the very tip and enter that distance here. Um, so um, I just measured it on my uh, Ender 5 here that I have behind me here, and uh, my button is on the Y-axis, um, so I'm going to choose Y-axis, and the button is at 222.5 millimeters. This is the measurement that you want to, uh, in this case, you're measuring the full distance. Um, if you look at the G-code, it'll say less than, you know, subtract 3 millimeters, but don't worry about that here. We do that automatically for you. So my, low, my button triggers, the red light turns on at exactly 222.5 millimeters. Um, the distance from my extruder to my nozzle is exactly 625 millimeters. And I'm going to go ahead and generate a Prusa Slicer uh, tool change G-code here. Um, so I select those parameters, I hit generate G-code, and voila, there is all of the tool change G-code necessary to support uh, my Ender 5. So what I'm going to do is click in that box, do a select all, and hit copy. And let's go ahead and notice it says Prusa Slicer. We're going to go ahead and launch Prusa Slicer here. And I'm going to go to my printer settings, my custom G-code, and I'm going to scroll down here to my tool change G-code. Now I already had previous G-code in here. I'm just going to select all that and hit delete. And we'll paste the new code in. And so the new code says auto-generated 3D Chameleon tool change G-code. Um, everything is all set up for you. You'll notice that the button location has already been predefined based off of where we entered 225 or 222.5. It's automatically subtracted three millimeters so that it'll move to that location and hold. It's also taken that distance and divided it in half. Uh, for the x-axis holding position. So basically it's assuming that your button is at the maximum value of the axis that you've defined. And the other axis, it just moves to the middle of the uh, build plate. Um, and then down below here, it does all of our, our ramming and you know sequence. Here's where it's actually retracting the, out of it, the extruder. And in our code, we picked 625 millimeters. Um, so if we look at this, you'll see that there are blocks of 100. It, it, uh, Marlin has a limitation on some machines that the maximum move that you can do is 100. Um, so that's what we've done here. We've broken it up for you. And you'll see that it's done six of them. One, two, three, four, five. So there's a five, six, 25. And then just for good measure, it's automatically added an additional 30 millimeters to make sure that it's out of the extruder. Um, and then um, it goes through all of its tool changing, you know, logic, does all the other magic stuff. And then when it's ready to reload, we go back down here to the reload block, reload filament. And again, um, our value was 625. So we're going to go back to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, 25. And you'll notice that this one says edit this distance to fine tune the filament loading. Um, you can edit this distance if you want to just stay right in here, or you can also just simply change this value. So maybe you wanted 626 or 624, you know, whatever. 
Um, I find it easier just to edit this one location, but uh, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other for you. Um, but once that's in there, um, you have your tool change G code. Let's go ahead and add a couple parts here. Um, and we'll, uh, let me uh, copy this a few times, rearrange that. Actually, let's rearrange that and put that up there. And so I have four all in white. I'm going to go ahead and change those. So we'll change it from to one, two, three, and four. So now I'm using all four extruders. And we'll go ahead and slice that. And let's go ahead and save this out to the desktop here. So we'll just call this test G code. And let's go to the test desktop and take a look at that code. So uh, generated by process slicer, if we go down in here, you'll see auto generated 3D chameleon tool change G code for process slicer. Um, here it's uh, process slicer always starts out with an unknown tool and they call it minus one. So we, we're unloading minus one. Here is our button change location. And of course, if we go down here, here is our retract back out with the additional 30 millimeters added to it. And then down below here, we'll have the reload block of code right there. So that's it. We're good to go. Um, let's go ahead and go back over here and let's do the same thing for Simplify 3D. We'll generate the G code. Select all of that. Copy that. Uh, let's launch Simplify. Oh, I launched it. Let's go ahead and shut this one down just to be sure. Oh, there we go. So in Simplify, um, I have a uh, our model here. It actually has four different parts, and I have uh, different uh, colors assigned to each one of them. Uh, in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the scripts, tools change, and in here you'll notice I have the same code that I had for the Prusa Slicer uh, formatted differently. The, the code is identical to Prusa Slicer, it's just the variable names are different. They use a different format for their variable names. But let's copy and paste that and make sure we have simplify code in there, and we do. Um, so we'll save that one. We need to do it to all four of the uh, processes. So I'm selecting all four and just replacing them with the G code that I selected. And then we'll just hit prepare to print. We'll select all four colors. And voila, we have a nice slice for all four colors. So um, that's all you need. Um, let me know what you think in the comments and thanks for watching.